Good morning, friends. This is Pastor Joe Parlikatayo. Let us rejoice that the Lord blessed us to celebrate a wonderful Christmas yesterday. This is the first day after Christmas. I'd like to invite you to meditate on the star that appeared to guide the wise men of e wise men of the East. At that time, astrology was the most important science in the East. They studied the stars and what the stars mean to humanity. They developed a, a wonderful system of learning on, on looking at the stars and the meaning, meaning of them. And some of those great wise men of the East saw a new star and they, in their understanding, they recognize that as a star telling them a great king is born in Israel for the people of Israel. So they decided to travel. Probably they traveled over two years in order to find the place. When they came to Bethlehem, King Herod and all his people were disturbed because there was no baby in the king's palace. King Herod called the, the wise men of Jerusalem and asked them, where was the Messiah to be born? And they said, Bethlehem of Judah. So he sent the wise men to Bethlehem to find the baby and worship the baby and come back and report to him so that he too may go and worship him. When the wise men came out of the palace of the king, they again saw the star. When they saw the star, they were exceedingly grateful and joyous. And they went and found the boy, baby Jesus, and worshipped him, see, seeing with his mother and his stepdad. They worshipped him and presented him three important gifts, gold, myrrh, and frankincense, very expensive gifts. And they returned through another road because angel of the Lord warned them not to return to Herod. When Herod realized that they outwitted the king, he was furious. He sent soldiers to kill boys born in and around Bethlehem two years and under. And therefore the soldiers went and killed a lot of boys. And the, the, again, the, the scripture says that was to fulfill a prophecy of Jeremiah about Rachel weeping and refused to be consoled because her children are no more. Sisters and brothers, today as we spend the day after Christmas, let us meditate on the, how God communicates to so many people in so many different ways, according to their own abilities and understanding. The wise men of the East studied the stars. They have therefore he proclaimed to the wise men of the East through their knowledge. Even now, God communicates to us through our own understanding and abilities, circumstances. He communicates to the extreme poor as well as the extreme rich, extreme uh, intelligent people as well as the lowest intelligent people because God loves all of us. We are all children of God. That's the most wonderful thing Jesus taught us. Jesus asked us to address our God as our Heavenly Father. Yes, then he taught us, if you human beings knows how to give good gifts to your children, how much more your Heavenly Father would do whatever you ask of him. So ask of him the Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of joy, the spirit of delight, 
all sorts of blessings are in store for us because God is our eternal Father. Sisters and brothers, throughout this day, throughout the rest of our life, let us cultivate the faith that God is our eternal Father. We can trust Him. He would do only what is best for us. Will you join me in this prayer? Let us pray. Eternal Father, we thank you for giving us this day to meditate on how you communicated to the wise men of the East about the birth of your Son. O oh, precious Lord, enable us to accept, receive blessings from you according to our own understanding. Lord Jesus Christ, we glorify you for dying on the cross to pay the penalty of our sins. Thank you, Lord, for resurrecting, for opening up heaven for us and choosing to come and live within us. Precious Lord, continue to fill us with your Holy Spirit. Enable us to experience the truth that God is our eternal Father. Bless us to develop that intimate relationship with God as our Father. We ask this blessing, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen.